Hi all, I wanted to do a quick day and market summary for the 10th of October 2024. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All content over here is for the sake of education. Kindly read the disclaimer below and what you see on the screen. With that, let's proceed. What a day it was. Uh, for me, it was a confusing day. I don't know about others. I found it very difficult to trade today. And... Uh, especially because of nifty and the way bank nifty was acting up uh first let's discuss charts on the five minutes time frame and then we'll go on to the four hour time frame so on the screen you see mid cap nifty on the left and nifty on the right nifty is where i was most confused and uh, this is how the day went mid cap ended a little bit in the uh, red today uh, about uh, point four four percent in the spot chart and nifty was almost flat to the best of my knowledge yeah nifty is flat 0.07 percent in the green or 16.5 16.5 points in the green which is nothing on an index that is close to 25,000. so mid cap and nifty is where the uh slow movement was uh, in fact mid cap was falling but um, it was not a fall that one could uh, capitalize on now let's move on to uh, fin nifty and bank nifty fin nifty i don't trade much because it pretty much trails bank nifty and the way bank nifty operates so if you discuss bank nifty i don't know i may be i may be on the wrong strike price or something uh, because it was going up in such a way that the, the strike price that i was sitting on was not going up uh, I'm talking about the time frame, this one from about 11.20 onwards. So from 11.20 to about 1, 1.30 or 1, 1 o'clock, I maybe have been sitting on the wrong strike rate or something, a wrong strike price. Anyways, it was a, a day uh, where the momentum I found very frustrating. I'm sure it's not the same case with everybody. Everybody would have found different ways to look at the market. It was a confusing day for me. I took a small bit of a loss today and packed up for the day. So this is uh, charts in terms of five minutes. The indicators that you have working on the screen is uh, the indicator that I've shown yesterday. Uh, this is that indicator uh, RSI by XT cow. I have worked on it uh, and it's now almost looks like my 22020 settings with RSI. So it's almost the same it's almost identical almost i say because it's almost it's not a hundred percent it does not look hundred percent the same slight differences here and there but very difficult to catch it's 99.9 percent .9 the same right so i found the day uh, not a not a peaceful day to trade because if you work on the rsi macd rsi that uh, that we follow you'll notice that uh, nifty pretty much spent the day between the zero line of the macd and uh, the 60 percent midline of uh, rscd plus uh, rsi plus macd in fact i can demonstrate that to you i mean if i make this nifty 50 let me go to the let it be on the futures chart and if i get rid of this at the bottom and if i take my macd and uh, rsi so this is what will come up i'll take it down so you see i mean uh, uh, it's not coming up very clearly over here but uh, it was pretty much the whole day between the rsi and the macd line i don't know why it's not showing very clearly on this system on another system i've got it very clear where uh, most of the day it's spent between the rsi and the macd maybe this needs to get bigger let's see, just give me a moment no for some reason it's not uh showing like it's showing on another monitor for me so must be some screen size difference or something like that in any case guys 
uh, you can see over here also it's visible i mean it's a very sideways kind of momentum uh, so nifty gave confusing signal throughout the day my own theory was they are trying to balance the indices the more mid cap was falling uh, they were trying to pull up the nifty and uh, fin nifty uh, because that would counterbalance things and um, nifty would remain at about 25000 pretty much most of the day the spot they kept nifty between 25000 and 25000 20 points if you do an analysis you'll find that most the, the average for the day would be 25015 because that is where they kept nifty for most of the day any case guys let's not talk too much about things on the five minutes chart let's go on to the uh, four hour chart with the auto fib that we use so this is how we look uh, this is how nifty looks over here it's still above the support of 25053 which is this green line over here as long as it's above that support all good nothing to worry about i still uh, would like to mention that this is still a possibility this 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 and then breakdown that is still a possibility in my view so i'm not ruling that out even now that can still happen but uh, as i'm making this video europe is slightly in the red us is slightly in the red uh japan is slightly in the red china seems to have closed mildly in the green so nothing much globally also happening i think uh, the for the last 24 hours i've not heard much about uh, the iran israel conflict also either i'm not watching news too much or there's not much coming out in the news channels regarding the same in any case guys uh, i'm sure all are aware we lost one of the titans of the industry uh, last night so that news has been pretty saddening in any case let's proceed so nifty looks this way bank nifty looks like this it's trying now the next goal for it is to try and break this red line over here which is 51997 or you can say 50 to 1000 round figure all right that should act like a resistance uh because here also it was struggling it came down again then went up then came down so this 52,000 will act like a resistance. Let's see if it's able to break that tomorrow or not. The way it has moved up today, it's gone up about 500 points today. So anything is possible. But the way that movement was happening was very challenging to work with. Anyways, guys, the year also head and shoulder is still a possibility. It can still do this. And then break down. So that cannot be ruled out even now. All right. Let's go to Fin Nifty. Fin Nifty pretty much looks like Bang Nifty. No big deal. It can again do that head and shoulder that we have discussed. Here will be one shoulder, head, and then another shoulder and down. That's a possibility. It's going to face some resistance at 23,996, which is over here. If it breaks that, then it will further travel up. Bottom, it's got support at 23,569. If I'm sounding a little low, that's because I'm lacking a little sleep. And uh, it was just a frustrating day as far as I'm concerned. Anyways. So this is mid cap. It's between these two fib, uh, fib levels. Uh, on top it's got resistance at about 13,076. At the bottom it's got support at 12,885. Uh, if it breaks its support at the bottom then it will travel further down. On top 13,086. 76 is a strong resistance because it's what a strong support you can see it took support year 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 and then finally it gave a bre breakdown over here now when it's trying to go up this line will which was earlier a support now will act like a resistance so 13076 is very crucial for mid cap only if it gives a closing above this can it go further higher up all right uh, mid cap had started off well today i don't know what happened to it later on started dorating from about 12 o'clock i think in any case guys that was the charts on the adapt uh, on the auto fib that we use members know how to use that and now let's go to our adaptive trend finder this is how the trend looks nifty is still on an up upstream candles are trying to go back into the tunnel and the range is quite wide so 
I wouldn't say much to worry about in Nifty. Man Nifty is still in a downtrend, but things seems to be recovering. In a, a, a day or two more of green closings, and this will start showing upward trend back again. Right now, it's downtrend. Even uh, Fin Nifty is showing a downtrend. Two, three more days of green candles over here, and this will also this will also convert into a uh, you know uptrending pattern like it was for a couple of uh, weeks. In fact, mid cap is still upwards with a nice wide range, and even though the candles are outside. They are trying to go back into the tunnel and even now Adaptive Trend Finder still stays that the trend is upwards and it's mostly strong. So that's it guys for today. Uh, nothing much to discuss. I'm sure some of you would have made money. Some of you would have lost money. It's all fine. It's all part of the game. As long as you can handle those things very well. Don't become too happy when you win and don't become too sad when you lose. Uh, it's all part of the game all right and uh, on that note i'll end this video thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed if you have already subscribed then please try and become a member with us by clicking on the join button also subscribe to our free telegram channel the link is given in the description in all our videos uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you can that motivates us to make more videos for you i'll see you in the next video take care Bye bye